Okay, I have something to say. And I don't want to step on any toes or offend anybody or anything. You know me, you know what I'm about. Um, but this, this discussion got brought up tonight, so I thought I would elaborate on it a little more. Uh, my feelings on it. Um, and where I stand, I'm sure it's not hard to figure out. But um, a friend of mine posted about the LGBT community putting gay stuff in um, cartoons and children's movies and such. And she has a problem with it. She thinks, I don't know if she thinks we're putting that all up in their face or, you know, gays are fine as long as they keep it behind their doors. But, as you know, as long as it's behind your door, we don't have to see it, you know, that type of thing. Um, I'm really happy about uh, the LGBT community being represented in cartoons and children's movies and such. Because to many kids out there, that's their normal. You know, to see two mommies or two daddies holding hands or kissing or hugging, that's normal for us, for them. And that's what it's about is having their families represented, represented, represented. It's not about us wanting to push gay agenda down your throat or, or I'll look in your face or whatever. It's about just representing our community and who we are because there's a lot of kids who grow up like that and who need, who, you know, think that's totally normal, you know? Like in Ellen's uh, Finding Dory, there was uh, a lesbian couple. But if you didn't know they were a lesbian couple, you wouldn't have known they were a lesbian couple. Because it was really just like two chicks and it was real quick. And they were like, oh, okay. And apparently there's a Nickelodeon cartoon where there's two dads. I haven't seen it. But that's cool. And apparently in the new Beauty and the Beast, I guess they're giving Lumin Lumiere, Luminaire, however you say his name. The French candle guy, they're giving him, making him gay, a gay guy. So that's cool. But what I'm saying is, is um, I don't want you to get your feelings hurt or to get all butt hurt or get all up in, get on your soapbox, you know, about putting this in, on your kids because it's not about that. Um... I mean, if you think about it, there was a time when it was a big deal for mixed couples to be out, you know? And everybody thought, oh, it's abomination, it's wrong, it's, you know, black and white people, da-da-da-da-da, you know? All that was being said. And But for a lot of kids, that was normal to have a white mom and a black dad, or a black mom and a white dad, mom, whatever. That was totally normal, you know? So, for us, we're kind of going through that same thing, and... Um, for you to say that to your kids is just saying, you know, that you think it's not okay. So it's kind of like letting your kids know how you feel about it. It's kind of pushing your thoughts and stuff on it. I don't know. Um, but where I'm coming from is for, you know, there's moms and dads out there. Who this is their family and it's their normal family. There's two dads that have adopted a kid. Or two moms that have kids from previous family. They're blended families. Um, something along those lines. And so for those kids, it's normal. And I, understand, and I have a lot of friends who say, oh, it's okay for you to be, you know, if you want to be gay. You want to be a lesbian. Be it behind your doors. We don't want to see it out in public. But if you were to see, like, me and my girlfriend at Walmart getting some Doritos and some Diet Pepsi and we're holding hands, you wouldn't be like, oh, my God, it's an abomination. We're going to hell in a handbasket. Oh, my God. You know, don't look away. Avert your eyes, children. You know, you wouldn't think nothing about it, hopefully. And that's what it would be nice for it to come to, you know. Because I don't do that when I see hetero couples, you know, straight couples. Oh, God, look at the straights. Buying their ding-dongs and ho-hos. I don't know. Anyway, that's just my thought, my opinion about it. 
you're free to your thoughts and your opinions about it and that's what makes our country great is the right to express your beliefs even if we don't agree we can still be friends i hope have a good night